Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to knit the berry stitch pattern. For this pattern, you are going to need to know how to knit, purl, and cast on. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below for my videos on how to do those techniques. So to get started, you want to cast on multiples of four plus two. So to get started, row one is actually the wrong side. So we are going to start off by a knit and then our repeat is going to be knitting one yarning over and knitting one in the next stitch. So it's a knit. And then when you yarn over, you want to make sure that you yarn over clockwise. Again, because counterclockwise, it won't stay in place. So you got to go clockwise. And then you're going to insert your needle again into the same stitch and knit. Then we are going to purl three together, which means that you're going to insert your needle through three purls, not one like I'm doing here. So one, two, three, you got all three loops on your needle and then you purl through all three pull through, drop all three. So let's see this again. Our repeat is going to be a knit, a yarn over, again clockwise, and then a knit again all in the same stitch. Then we are going to purl all three stitches together, the next three stitches together, drop all the loops off, and then we'll finish off with a knit. So you see how we are getting these beautiful gaps and this is going to end up forming the pattern for this. So for row two, we are going to start off by knitting one and then our repeat is going to be purl one, knit three, and you'll do that repeat all the way till the end of the row where your last stitch will be a knit. So now we're going to turn our work and we are going to start off with a knit. And then we are going to start by our repeat of purling three together, followed by knitting one, yarning over and knitting one in the same stitch. Again, the repeat is going to be purl three together. and then knit one, yarn over, and then knit one all within the same stitch. And then we finish out the row with a knit. So row four, we start off with a knit, and then the repeat is going to be knit three, purl one. And you'll repeat this, pat this portion all the way to the last stitch, which will be a knit. Now you want to make sure that your yarn over doesn't get stuck or twisted. So just kind of take your time when looking at that from the previous row. And there you have it. That is how you knit the berry stitch pattern. Super fun and easy. I like how it ends up churning out very textured and it's just so much fun to do. You can see the gaps that it forms from the purling three together. But if you found this video helpful, please do give it a like, and I really do hope that you have a happy knitting day.